Parent-child hierarchies, video number three. It's me, your BA sensei, and we are going to go through how you basically implement uh, child accounts, specific use case, in Power BI Index. Okay, so let's just revise what it means. Uh, child accounts. Child accounts, little example. We have child accounts, account number 1000, that belongs to a specific higher up account, your parent account, and that parent account rolls up to ultimately your assets, liabilities, expenses, income. So we just want to put that in a specific formula and deal with that hierarchy in Power BI. So just one note before we go on, just note that the characteristics of these hierarchies is you only have one parent. So a specific node can't have more than one parent. And there's a variable depth to each node in the hierarchy. So not all of which is on the same level. Okay, let's head on over to Power BI. So let's quickly look at the data model here. Not data model, but the actual way the data looks in the account table. You get your account key, you get your parent key, and you got each of your accounts and you have an account type. Account type is very important in this case. And your ultimate parent has a blank value over there. First thing we're gonna do, is we're going to flatten the hierarchy. Remember, tabular can't really deal with self-referential tables. So what we do is we kind of flatten the hierarchy. And then once we flatten the hierarchy, we write the measures to produce the calculation. So let's start it off. Um, so what we're going to go in the dim account table, and we're going to add a calculate column. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get the actual path. What is the account path? I'm just going to paste it in here. We use the DAX function called path. What that does is it basically gives you the path of each individual row in the hierarchy. So you can see what every single node, how deep every single node goes. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to determine um, the depth of each one of these nodes within the greater hierarchy. New column. We're going to use the path length function here we go and it refers to the account path we just created here we go so now we know how deep each of these is so now that we know that that's very important what is our biggest what is our deepest level it's level six so i'm going to flatten the hierarchies out um up to level six so what do we do now so now we're going to add another calculation we're going to say flatten it out let's say column one Column one, <clears throat> so this is the formula we use. Uh, level number, it's level number one. We use the path item um, uh, function that refers to the account path, and we give it the level number. We know it's level number one, and we know this is an integer key. Then we look up the actual account description to return the account description, and we return the result. So that's going to give us level level one for all of the nodes, which is, you can see net income balance sheet. Do, do, do. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do it for level two, three, four, five, and six. I'm going to forward the video from here. All right, so now we've basically flattened the hierarchy. We've got level one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we can see what each node, uh, the levels of each node is following the actual path. Right. Next thing we're going to do is, I'm actually just going to create the hierarchy inside of the data model over here. I'm going to quickly show you the first one and then forward the video from there. So I'm going to say level one, say create new hierarchy. Give it a name. Let's call it chart of accounts key cool and now i'm going to add two three four five and six to that just you do that click on that you say add two hierarchy all right so now the hierarchies are set up example here i can expand on it you can see one two three four five six brilliant so now we're going to quickly add the hierarchy. Let's add a matrix report here or a matrix visualization. Let's drag the hierarchy in there. Cool. You can see expanded. Yes, yes, yes. 
what we're going to do is we're going to we got this simple total amount so basically just the total amounts of the chart of accounts drag it in here i just want to show you a little example of what what the actual problem is and what we need to do here you can see the it's just adding everything so basically you can see your gross margin your net sales um, and your cost of sales are actually added together to come to basically add it to 25 million. That's not correct. And operating expenses then added to that to get to 33. We don't want that. We need, we want expenses. If we look at anything that's an expense, it should be deducted from a revenue. So anything that's a revenue should be added and summed. Anything that's an expense should be subtracted. So now we need to implement that. So this is incorrect. Okay, so we need to bring that that logic into the actual measures. So now we have to add a couple of measures to deal with that complexity. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly add a new measure over here. First thing we're going to add is we're going to do a account browse depth. So the is in scope basically returns a true or false if a specific level is in scope. So this would be, let's say your four levels deep would be like true, 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 true. So that will return four. If you have six levels, it will return six. If you only have one, it will return one. That's the account browse depth. Okay, that's a very important measure to have. It's going to bring it on over there. It's going to quickly show you what it does if we drag it into there. Okay, I'm not drag it in. So you can see the depth of each of these nodes. That's in one, two, three, four, five. See, so now we know what the depth is of each node. So that's cool. Second measure we're going to add is we're going to add what is the maximum depth. So we quickly go to that one. We say new measure. So it's going to take the account depth we created in the first part of this video, and it's going to give us the max one. Let's quickly put that in context of video. What does it mean? So you can see what the context is of that. So we'll kind of tell you what the, even though this one is on level two, we don't want the blanks in there. So this one will basically be the base of us taking those blanks out. You can see this one is max. That income is actually on one. We can ignore two. So we're going to use that logic in there. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a bit of a com complicated um, the chart of accounts measure over here. Let's quickly show you how that works. It's actually very cool. I like this one a lot. Okay, cool. Let's call this one the chart of accounts. So first what we do is we create a very we create various variables. So the first variable we create is we do a sum x over create a summarized table of everything in the finance table and we kind of like do a pivot on account type so that's going to give us a, a table with each of the account types which is expenditure liabilities income or revenue and then what we're going to do is we're going to determine what sign to use let's say if the account type is either an expenditure or a liability then we know it should be a negative amount otherwise it should be a positive amount Okay, and then this uh, uh, amount is basically just our normal um, sum of all the amounts that we showed you before. And then what we're going to return is we're going to say the amount times the sign we should use, negative or positive. This will give us, for expenses, will give us negatives, and liabilities will give us negatives, and all um, other ones will give us pluses. Okay, so now I showed you previously those two new measures we created. We're just going to determine uh, what the depth is, so we don't want to show any blanks. So we do it for the account level, which is for the chart of accounts. But from the previous video, you can see we always also did it for the entity level. So then we basically show the result if there is values in that level of hierarchy. Okay, cool. So we just say it. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the magic. So this is where the true magic comes in. And we're actually now going to say, let's take out, let's bring that in here. And now if we take out the other ones, you can basically see a year is our complete chart of accounts. You can see there's the negative signs. You can basically see this is more 
more correct. So if we look at net sales, we see gross sales is 18 million. Less discounts, less that gives us net sales of 18 million, not the 19 million that we saw there. See that? So that makes sense. That's the chart of accounts path over there, right there.